Hey everyone, so welcome. That's a big bag, isn't it? In this video, I'm going to tell you why I got this. This is my Gitzo 45 out Adventure uh, camera bag. I'm going to tell you why I got the big one, um, what features it has, if I thought it was worth it, how much it was, and whether or not I'm going to keep it. Check it out. Okay, cool. So, um, I needed a bag, right? I got this big camera, and big lens, um, and I wanted to carry two spare lenses, some bits and bobs, vlogging gear, all that kind of stuff, all in a bag that's going to keep it dry. And I didn't want it opening from here. I wanted it opening from there. More about that in a bit. Okay, cool. Um, well, I'll start on the outside first, eh? Okay, so looking at it now, underneath here you've got a couple of nice, very thick webbing straps. Yeah, you can put your easily adjustable got a tripod under there. All right, anything like that. On the bottom, also, it is made of a slightly different material, it's thicker. So if you put it down, it's not going to get wet and dirty and it's going to stay safe on the inside. The actual material itself is uh, very heavy duty. It looks like a, a ripstop kind of material, but it's thicker than you would think. Very, very heavy duty indeed. On the top, you've got two clips here. Okay, I have used this uh, to carry my tripod on on a number of occasions. I've just slid one leg down into that bit and that bit around the whole thing and it just keeps it this little spider from my last travels. Um, some webbing on the inside here so uh, any of the army style things will clip on the front as well. All right. Okay on the front as well you've got a nice zipped pocket you can see it goes right in i've got a couple of things in there i won't tell you what and why i've got in my bag you know if you want i can tell you in another video just looking on the zips then all right let's go to one of the pockets on the outside and this pocket right here so it's a nice zippered pocket there and this one as you can see it's it's kind of it's not super sealed but it's there's this, there's like a above the zip it's like a thick rubber i don't know i want to say sealed but it's not because you can when you zip it up Are they waterproof? Are they not waterproof? I don't know. You get one. You you tell me, right? But this one here, if you open this big pocket here, there's also an extra sealed pocket. And you can see, look, it's quite big. You could put a small tripod in there. I put my vlogging tripod in one of these pockets on either side. They only do this. I mean, in one of the older versions, there was a zipper on the bottom as well. But they no longer do that. Um, and you can put the tripod right through, you put drinks, all that kind of stuff. And I'm going to put a flask in one. I'll put my vlogging cap, vlogging gear, tripod in there because it folds up really small. Um, but the double zipper, it's quite a nice idea. It keeps it extra dry and extra tidy, right? And uh, there we go. And on the other side, there's another one. Standard issue, that one. It's just a single pocket. Again, tripod, flask, that kind of thing can go in there as well. And again, it's got that uh, sealed zip. So the weather's not really getting in there. I mean, it would, it's going to take an awful lot of uh, heavy duty water to go into there. Onto that, all right, weather protection. 
extra for the protection. He took an email to get so himself. Is it get so? Is it jit so? You tell me in the comments, right? Am I pronouncing it correctly? Who knows? Who actually cares? It's a good bag. <sighs> Bit of a clue. Um, there's supposed to be a cover that goes over the top. For the life of me, I couldn't find it, right? I even emailed them and they weren't sure. They make the damn bag. <laughs> but here it is, All right? In there, just here, in that little, that's where the cover is. You pull the cover out and it goes over the top. What a nifty bit of design that is. On the bottom as well, there's a nice little carry handle as well, so if you want to pick it up with two hands, because it can be quite heavy um, when you've got, you know, uh, uh, either a prime lens in there or like me, 150, 600mm lens in there, and all bits and bobs that go with it, all right? Okay, so yeah, nice little touch on there. And it's, it's quality made, you can feel it, it's really tough webbing. Cool, that's almost the outside. Um, just one final thing. I like this. Another reason why I got this, I wanted to keep stuff dry and I wanted extra bits and bobs. You know, like you, you open the tops of um, your rucksacks and things and you have things hanging out, like, you know, fleeces, that kind of stuff. I didn't want to do that. So, this bag, I've got a little dry sack at the top. Now, uh, what's that? Ah, it's my throw, throw over concealment. All right, so it's a little dry bag. What a great idea. And it is separate from the contents on the inside. What a fab idea. You know, a little dry bag design on the top. Cool, right? Okay, I think that's it for the outside. Uh, oh no, just what? Let's go to the other side. So let's go to the, the the straps and everything. So on the straps, little hooks. You want to hook carabiners on that kind of thing. Um, a nice, very thick, padded, very comfortable to wear. All right. Easily adjustable. Standard issue, really. It's just a different design. Pull up, pull down. You know, every rucksack's the same, right? Nice comfortable chest strap that goes across here. And there's a nice belt strap as well. Okay. So a good belt strap and on there is a nice little pocket. I don't know, what'd you put in there? Change keys. Um, will it fit a modern mobile phone? Not really, a bit tight in there, but yeah pocket change keys but it actually even carries cash i still do just a little bit but yeah it's a handy little pocket on the front okay and it comes with a nice padded back to protect you from your kit and your kit from you um and it's like wicks away as well there's nice little vents all over it um to keep you nice and cool when you are carrying it Now, this thing about, you see me learn, I had to lift it. Why, why so big? I'm a pretty big guy. I want it on my back and the way it's designed. I hardly, you know, I, I know I'm carrying a rucksack, but if I've got the camera and the sling at my side, then it goes really, really light indeed. So it's just a big rucksack. It's a 45 litre rucksack. Um, Let's look inside. Okay, so let's have a little look to the inside, right? Same zipping around the outside, sort of protected zips, as I said before. Very easy to open, okay. On the inside here, Laptop, I'd say 13 inch, and then there's a tablet. I've had my tablet in there, or something in there now. It's almost in there. Aha, yeah, wet weather camera cover. 
wonder where that was. Okay. So, what'd you get on the inside? So, it's multi-compartmental, okay. Got, like all good camera um, bags, it's compartmental. So, these areas here separate, that all moves, it's disjointed. Um, this one here, for example, has, can go over and strap it together to make it a little bit tighter to keep the camera in. Um, that's how I've got mine set up at the moment. So I like a little pouch here, a little stuffy bit here where I can put bits and bobs. Uh, Nifty 50, you know, carry sling, uh, spares, uh, lens, lens. Um, it can come out, the whole cabacle can come out like a cube. I've never done that. Oh, I'm probably not ever going to do that. But you can see it is separate. So that dry section there, you can see that is never going to make the camera equipment wet. So it's going to, you know, you put anything wet in that top dry compartment, nothing's going to drip down into your precious load. Okay, so you can see I've got my 150 to uh, 600 lens in there. Um, you know, it will take a prime, you know, I've got prime will take, you take a 300 on it, maybe a 500 as well. Um, and you get little pouches with it as well. So there's two of these little pouches. Let's get this one out. So these two little pouches here, and you get two of these. In there, um, I've got all my, you know, memory cards, uh, USB utilities, that kind of stuff. And again, just Velcros on the inside there. Uh, I might change the way I set it up. I don't know, but that's the inside. Plenty of room for vlogging gear and camera equipment and a spare lens and two or three spare lenses. So, how would I rate it then? For me. It's no brainer, it's exactly what I wanted. Back entry, so I want to put it on the ground. You know, nothing's going to get wet or anything like that or dirty um, when it's on my back. There's no access to the back when I'm standing anywhere, so you know, you're not going to have to rip the damn thing off me to get it in, inside. Um, it's waterproof, it's got an extra waterproof cover. It does everything I want of it. How much? Okay. These ain't cheap. There is a 30 litre version, which is smaller and obviously cheaper for the 45 L. You're looking at the moment around about the 320 pounds mark, something like that. I got it cheaper than that. I paid about 285, 290 because it was actually on a sale. Okay, so there's my quick stop review of the Gitso. Jitso, again, I really, um, someone tell me. <laughs> Does it really matter? Um, bag. Uh, I think it's well worth it. Um, please hit the like button, subscribe and hit the dingly bell if you want to see more. Uh, and I, hopefully I'll be off on my travels again very soon, photographing and filming stuff that I like and hopefully you like too.